Welcome to a virtual tour of MCSA online training website. We begin our tour with the logon screen where you will type your email address and we're going to type Paul's email address. That's paul at yahoo.com. And we're going to type the course password which you will be given and we're going to log in. On our screen, we can see that we have course objectives, course requirements, introduction to desktop management training, and then we have the modules of 7 to 4 10. Module 1 and its subheadings, module 2 and the topics for module 2, module 3, 4, 5, and 6. What will you get during this online course? You have your video training instruction. You have hands-on lab exercises, demonstration labs. You have 24-7 e-learning access, exam preparation questions. You also will have study tips and you have a discussion forum. Let's start by looking at the introductory session, Introduction to Desktop Management. By clicking on the first topic, Planning for Windows Installation, this section, Desktop Management, is the very first section that you will do, our introductory section, and this section will help you navigate around the website will get you au fait with the website environment. You can see here we have in our first column our training videos. Then we have required reading for the week. We have over to the right hand side our hands-on lab assignments and to the left of that we have the instruction notes for the lab assignment. At the end of each week, you will have a review quiz. And this review quiz is meant to help you assess what you have done for the week and also helps with your retention. Let us look at the first module. For the 7410 and we're just going to click here on install servers and we can see that we have the same format here you have your course videos and for each video when you click on the video and you start the video you will see that the video has the timing at the bottom left of the screen so that you'll be able to tell how long this video will be and you'll be able to plan accordingly. Again, you have here your lab instruction notes and your hands-on lab. We also have study tips. You can click on your study tips and you're shown a number of tips that are geared to helping you with your online studying. We have here, again, the videos for training, the required reading, the lab instructions, and the hands-on lab assignment. We want to pay some attention to the hands-on lab assignment. And you can see that we have week one and week two. You're going to always have available two weeks work online. You'll be doing the week work for that particular week and then you have an additional week in case you want to do reading ahead of that week one. But your work will be available online two weeks at a time and as you go on you will see the modules 
other modules will appear online for you. Like I said, we want to take a look at one of the hands-on assignments. And um, we're going to look at deploying roles on remote servers. And remember I said that the very first week when we're doing desktop management, that is the week that you're going to get yourself familiar with the website environment, with the navigation, and be able to look to see how you're going to plan and arrange your work so that you fit your work for the week within the specified time because remember you'll be having a quiz at the end of the week. Let's go ahead and look at deploying roles on remote servers just to see how we will go ahead looking at the lab. Your first screen, on the first screen of the lab you will always have some directions and you will click on next. Remember that for every lab, you're going to have lab notes, and the lab notes will have step by step what you need to do within the lab. So, for example, your first direction will be probably to click on manage. So, we click on manage, and here it says add servers. Notice that when I put my cursor over what you're supposed to click on, you will see a blue prompt and you always click on that blue prompt and you will be directed with your instruction notes what you need to click on. If you click outside of the blue prompt, you'll probably get an error. If I click here for example, it will say incorrect, please try again. So following your lab notes, you will click where the lab notes say to click. For example, find now and you know that you are right because you will see that blue prompt. Remember, again, if you click outside of the blue prompt, you will get an arrow and it will ask you to try again. But you need to pay careful attention to the lab notes and the class video will also show you how you will navigate the hands-on lab assignments. You can also use TechNet Virtual Labs and when you're going through your hands-on lab assignment you will see me explaining step by step how to find the TechNet the Virtual Machine and which machine you should be using. We want to go back and look at the forum, which is your discussion forum. So we're going to click here on forum. And here you can add, enter your information, your last name, first name, date, and topic. And make sure to every time you enter information that you enter the date, the topic, your first and last name. In the comment or query box, you can type your discussion um, point, your comments, and you click submit. And you will see what you type. For example, here, this is the first comment, and this is by the admin. Welcome to the MCSA class forum, the online training class 7410 will officially begin on May 15, 2017. So you're going to be using this forum discussion to discuss uh, material with each other, to ask questions, and to make comments. Thank you for taking the tour with us, and thank you for listening.